These describe fully questions on transformations are quite popular in the exam, so it's worth practicing these well. They're on a square grid, so basically there are only four transformations, and when you see this kind of question, always write down the four to remind you that you're going to be using one of these words and its associated um, terms. So rotation, reflection, enlargement, and translation. Those are the four transformations that you're expected to deal with when you're dealing with shapes on squared grids. So we look at this and we ask ourselves, is it a translation? Well, no, because if it was a translation, then we're going from A onto triangle B. Then if it was a translation, then B would look like that somewhere on the grid. It doesn't. So translation, it can't be. A, if it's been a re reflection, then A would be going over here somewhere, going down here somewhere. It could flip over, but then we notice that it just doesn't work. You can get your tracing paper. You could try reflecting it and seeing what happens. And hopefully you can see that when you reflect it, the shape should be doing something like that. something like that and even if you did a diagonal reflection then it would be doing something like that so it just doesn't work for a reflection so it's not going to be a reflection now it's very unusual for enlargements to be not the shape being bigger or smaller so it doesn't look as though it's an enlargement at all so we're left with rotation so you must make sure you write down the actual word. We don't say turn around, that won't get you a, mo a mark. You don't say it's sh the shape has um, gone clockwise. You must use the word rotation to get one mark. Well, once we know it's a rotation, then we've got to decide, using our tracing paper, where the center of rotation is. So quite often it's going to be the origin, but we can see that when we spin this shape around the origin, that it didn't quite work so we're going to have to try somewhere different to the origin this time now we can quickly see that if we do it there then we rotate the shape round and it did work by taking it around to that point there so because rotation requires you to define the center then we say the centre is at coordinate 0, 1 and you also need to say the angle of rotation and we could see from the way it works it had to turn around 180 degrees now sometimes you have to say clockwise or anticlockwise but when it's 180 degrees then you're simply going to turn in either direction and it will work